Hello everybody and welcome once again to Daniel Sun's Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode I'm going to do three things I think. First of all we're going to have a look at a slight bug with the drone that I set up last time for picking up the bits. The second thing we're going to have a look at is I'm going to build some armour but I'm not going to do too much with the armour today. And the third thing I'm going to do is look at some mod changes which have happened between uh, updates. So let's have a look at this first of all. Now the problem is in here, it's picking up dust, it's picking up gold dust, iron dust, nickel dust and aluminium dust and they're coming from the processing of um, ores. So let's go and have a look at what's actually causing that. So in here I've got in this crusher I've got some iron ore which I've prepared to do some testing with. So we'll put that over here into the grinder up here. Magnetic graph grinder. So that's going to grind stuff. It gets taken out of here, put onto the conveyor belts, goes round through here, gets sieved, and the sieving process will generate malt, um, byproducts. So one of the byproducts will be the nickel dust and the aluminium dust in this case, and the other one comes through as the ore chunks. So here you see you've got an iron ore chunk, and then you've got a nickel chunk coming through here, and that, uh, a second one, and a, a nickel dust. Now what happens is that nickel dust in this case will get stuck in here after a while. You see these two have gone through now and they're keeping them. So the furnace isn't fast enough so it's actually not building up. So you'll see it's got two iron in here and it's got some dust coming along here. Now here comes the drone and it's going to pick it up. You'll watch this. So it just takes a few seconds. It flies over here. And then he comes along and just takes it out like that <laughs> and takes it away. So that's how that's been happening. So, and he'll come back a second time for this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to exclude this area. There are other, other ways of doing it. So what I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to do is I'm going to put down some slime blocks. Slime blocks, I said, are good because they're easy, they're easy to control. And I'm going to take one of these things here, um, this one, and I'm going to right click this one on the top of this one here like that, and left click it as well. So that's selecting this block. Then I'm going to uh, come along here and edit the point. You can edit one point. So the one I'm going to edit is this, and I'm going to change this one here to 64. And then you'll see it going down. So then I need to come along here, and I would like to come up, exclude this area up to here. So this is position is 352. So let's edit this position now. Oops, try again. So it's 358, it's 352. I know that because I've done it about 10 times already. <laughs> And you'll see that this is the area I would like to exclude. So let's go and exclude that from the program. Now, because the program's in a network API, we can change the program and it'll automatically immediately ref be reflected in the drone. So let's come along here. This is the program that's loaded up. So let's drag it up here and then just take this one here and just left click this on that one. Like that. In fact, the drone's just about to teleport. I'm not sure what it's going to teleport to. It's flown over there somewhere. So, because it's quite a large area, it does tend to teleport about it, and he teleported back again. But don't ask me why. <laughs> so anyway, so we've got this area in here now, like that. So what we do is click this into there, and that area should be excluded. Now we can see that easily enough by selecting this piece here, right-clicking it, and showing show area. And you'll see that the whole area is quite a large area. I selected. I think I changed it. And if you come over here to where we're actually doing the processing, that's right down here, it's a bit awkward to find. You see, you can see the yellow blocks here. Now if I turn, move this out of my hand like that, you'll see this area is not included. So now, if I've got this right, that is, it shouldn't be picking up items from here. Oh, but that is, yeah, that's right, that's due to slime blocks. Let's pick those out. So this shouldn't come along here and take any more items out of here. So I have to go back and turn that off. And there was another there was another slight problem with it with my script. I hadn't I'd missed out one of the items which I'll have a look at now. So right click that and turn off the area. And the one I missed out was double tall grass. So double tall grass is what happens when pollution builds up to a higher level and it goes through. So, so it's sitting there. So he's not picking up any more pieces. So I think that's uh, that's being cured. We can double tap We'll check that again. We'll put some more um, aluminium, uh, some more iron ore into there, and let it go through again. And it shouldn't be picked up. Fact, I think it's 
no it's actually not being picked up you'll see these are still here and it's still processing the first batch in fact i'll take myself a stack of iron up here while while i'm here anyway and sort that out we use a lot of iron especially for magnetic craft like tons so next thing we're going to go and have up here and we're going to build some armor i've actually prepared everything you need quite a lot of materials to build the armor i'm not going to do the upgrades today because i need to figure that out still and i think say hello to the villagers as well they're they're over there i've been breeding a few villages got a few built up i should have put those in the smelter no one was the electron so in this chest here i've got these air canisters now the recipe for the all of these pieces of armor is basically like this so a, a leather helmet a printed circuit board and some uh, air canisters will make a pneumatic helmet uh, and it's the same basic recipe for the other bits as well so like the boots same one with the leather boots printed circuit board leggings which got two pieces of extra compressed iron on that and then the chest plate and that's got seven so in total you need um 16 plus 3 19 so you'll find i've got 19 in here i'll also need four of these which is i've got four four printed circuit boards uh, and the and the leather parts and a few bits of compressed iron which i should also have in here i've got 40 compressed iron at the moment let's make some more compressed iron because i'm bound to need it so let's put the let's put the compressed iron, uh, the iron into here let's come along here and actually just i've got to put a lever on here and that's off and that will actually turn the output off which is great so i don't have to go around messing around putting other bits and pieces into the things have been processed and then you can just hear it going through now so let's make the um these these armor pieces up like that i can <laughs> can you hear that i can i, mean, I turn that i turn the game sounds down a lot but uh it was just popping the things through into the into the pressure chamber so these are all the same recipe what am i missing oh i haven't got enough so we need to make two more of those let's have a look at that again I must have miscounted. I think I used them for something else, to be honest with you. I want two. These don't stack. So, like that. And then we can put into here the boots was the one I wanted, wasn't it? Like that. Because I only got one set of leather stuff, so we can't make the wrong piece. So what these need to do, now we need to charge these up with some pressure. This drone's actually in the way. This is another a new drone I built. This one's getting rid of the grass in this area because the pollution from that one produces pollution. So now I'm standing on here like this. You'll see that these are starting to get bar. So these are slowly charging up. In fact, it's quite a slow process. As you can see, um, the chest plate takes off quite a long time to charge up. So it might be well worth doing is making four charges for this. Uh, certainly at the moment, when you're wearing it, it's different. You'll charge up. And there's another way to do this, but we'll come to that in another episode I think so I need to charge up the armor and then we can put it in actually you can put the armor into the charging station like this and then we can see what upgrades we get here manage upgrades for the pneumatic chest plate and then it tells you all the different upgrades you've got so you've got status um, estimated air uses so okay it's got we're not using any air at the moment you can have a security one so it doesn't blow up if you've got too much pressure. Well, that shouldn't happen. Speed upgrade reduces the startup armor piece time. Volume upgrades increase the amount of air capacity that the thing holds, which means it uses less items going down. The pneumatic um, armor upgrade, this is where it actually gets interesting because the armor itself is um, iron level. In fact, it tells, does it tell me here? And then you put two pieces in and it will actually increase the diamond level. The charging module, this is also an interesting one. This allows you to charge it up, and there is actually a charging module um, component. So if we have a look at the in the book, uh, dispenser upgrade from your offhand. By shift. Okay, so you can dispense items for you doing that. I'm not sure I haven't done that one either. Lifetime upgrade basically gives you an auto repair. A magnetic that allows you to have a magnet, one of my favorite features even though sometimes it's a bit of a nuisance, but I think you can turn it on and off. So this is slowly charging up, as you can see, it's 0.8 bar at the moment. I'm going to leave it in there until it actually gets charged up. This should keep pressure. Um, at the moment, I've probably got this turned on 
Yes, I have. I've got the refinery turned on, so the refinery is building up materials in here. I'm not sure where the drones, uh, the drone is at the moment for the that should be picking up the pieces. The inventory drone. I have to go and find it. I might have put it away. It's getting killed on these cables quite a few times up here. So <laughs> as long as it hasn't despawned, I'm happy. So I'll have to go and find that one. It should be around here, but it's but it might have disappeared away because this drone's taking its charging station. So I'll put down. I'll put down another charging station later on. Now, as I said, we've, I've been breeding a few villages, and I use the Impulse SV um, design. I oh, better not put that in my hand, though. No. And if I right-click this guy, he's a mechanic from from Pneumaticraft, so he's he can do trades, and he only has one level, so you get all these trades at the first go, and you can see you can get your your lasers and your drills wrong way around, and the, both the lasers and the drills and the, the different bits that you can get from the Armadon tablet. So he's quite useful. I've got two, in fact, one here and I've got one over there. So that's the end of this part of the video. So I'm going to carry on now and I'm going to talk about the changes in the pack. So one of the changes in the pack is this, the, the vacuum bags. You can see you can actually put these now in your bauble slot. So if I go and take my armor off, which I haven't got space for at the moment, it's just what can I get rid of in here that I can... Um, Probably the bucket and the diamond, the emeralds. I probably don't need the emeralds for the time being. And potatoes. That's for villager trading, of course. So I'll just take the armor off, and you'll see on me. I've got this. Uh, oh, let's have a look. Press so five. I've got this uh, glowing back. That's because it's enchanted. So the vacuum bag's actually in the bauble slot like that. Uh, also, the helmet will go into the headpiece. At the moment, I've got in my bauble slot. I've got the one probe. And then we have to do things with these now. You can't; they don't work as they used to do. So you have to add to them either wallpaper or leaves. So let's go and have a look at um, that. So if you, I wonder if it tells me somewhere. Recipe and then use anvil here. So you can do some. Oh, okay, I did the enchanting already. So as usual, curse of vanishing. We don't really want that one. We've got mending and unbreaking on there. So that's what I've done. But also you can do repairs on the anvil. So if you add three pieces of wool it will remove all of the sulfur and by default now these things don't uh, absorb carbon so in order to absorb carbon you have to put paper in it and in order to absorb volcanic ash you have to put leaves so you just combine it with some leaves let's go and do that in fact I'm going to get some leaves and come straight back by the anvil well I've got the um, leaves and I think not all of the leaves work I don't think the f I think the forest leaves don't work. So I've got a few leaves in here. Actually, this happens. Let's pick them up. So I've got some red spruce leaves and some apple oak, and I don't think they work. But I reckon the oak leaves from Minecraft will definitely work. We'll try these anyway. So what you do is with these, you, and I need to get it out of my inventory bubble, don't I? Like that. So I can right-click this, and I can put this in here with some leaves. Uh, let's try that. See if it works. Oh yes, it, can, it does work. So I can then take an enchantment cost of one, and then it'll take these leaves out of it. So we've got 31 at the moment. So it's taken two. So now this this vacuum pack will also do volcanic ash, um, which is great. So you basically got that one. That's that's actually a change. I've got to be careful now because it's night time and there's a thunderstorm. I think it's a thunderstorm, and you tend to get those quark skeleton horses flying around spawning somewhere or other and when they do they're a pain because they well if you break one you're too close they'll split into a whole load of um uh skeletons on horses shooting at you usually they actually used to end up shooting most of themselves but that's fine so let's get rid of the stuff that i've got in here now so i would like to show you the next thing yes that's right and that is these these also need to be broken and put back again i noticed this because i was making some steel and i saw sulfur coming through Oh, that's not right. I've got two filters on this slice. So what you have to do is break them and then just put them down again. These two are empty, as you can see. Otherwise, it would be um, have some stuff. I think as it happens, the upgraders actually replenish these as being clean. Uh, I don't think I have to put anything in with them. But you can now combine these with paper to filter out carbon. So that's a good feature. So one thing we need... 
is some lubricant and I've been getting I've been making lubricant using some uh, redstone and some diesel so the lubricants here the diesel is actually going to different places I should fix that as it happens um, because I'm refining the I'm refining the iron um, refining the oil I mean and I'm putting diesel and stuff into these I've actually got no thing with me but at the moment you'll see that this is full of diesel uh, so it's this and this has actually got not so much gasoline as it happens this one's a, get, a bit low on gasoline probably because it's got a speed upgrade in that let's take the speed upgrade out of this one and put it in oh it's got two in there as well but I think they've all got two in so it produces more power so it's actually not getting a gaff enough gasoline what do we have we have a uh, should have enough gasoline here. Oh, the drone's not working, is it? Because he's gone on a strike. <laughs> I have to go and find that drone and put him back, get him back to work again. He might have gone to a different charging station to get charged up. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next time, I'm going to be looking at some armor upgrades for pneumatograph repressurized. Uh, so until then, bye for now. <laughs>